Do you see what I see? On more than one occasion in 2020, I had someone ask me if I had a way of seeing the future. While I found their question odd, I can certainly see why they would ask me that question. To many who have experienced and survived 2020, it would appear as though I have seen the year coming and planned my life accordingly. But this was not the case. Twenty twenty was the worst. For most of the people I've known, twenty twenty stands out as one of the worst years ever. We've all experienced circumstances that led us to the need to understand viruses, germs, infections, masks, distancing, vaccines, immunizations, death, and survival. To many, it was their first encounter with an examination of the fragility of life and their mortality. People are the worst. From the immortal episode of Seinfeld, I will never understand people. They are the worst. People are the worst. Admit it. We probably all said this at some point in 2020. How can someone so smart, so gifted, so handsome, so beautiful, know what they know and come to the wrong conclusion? How can someone be so stupid? How can they not see it? We hold these truths to be self-evident, but people are different. Life has brought them through other circumstances, walking down paths that are different than ours. Each has experienced different lessons, faced various challenges, encountered different teachers, listened to life in a way unseen by us. Things that seem evident to us aren't apparent to them. People are different, and that makes the planet a beautiful place. Each person has different scars, different growth patterns, different backgrounds, different experiences, and have aged differently, and often have challenges in looking past that to a place they do not know. I know what I know, or do I? In 2020, I challenged myself to experiment with ways to communicate that which I know, or that which I think I know. I wanted to be better at discussing controversial topics while avoiding emotional or vitriolic responses. So instead of making statements, I asked questions. Questions invite thoughts and statements invite responses. And I wanted to know how and what people thought. I don't know what I don't know. That's one thing I know. 2020 was a great year for learning, a great year for exploring the world of ideas. People didn't hold back. In a faceless society where individual thought was discouraged, 
People for provided insights in ways I could not have imagined. I may not have believed what they said or wrote or even agreed with their conclusions, but it opened up new opportunities for exploration that I had, I had not seen. 2017 was my 2020. The year 2017 was my bad year or my year of daily challenges. Life gave me lemons that year and I tried to make lemon pies. My body that had supported me so well for 52 years had difficulty supporting me climbing a flight of stairs. I went from a life of walking and riding for hours to a life where walking for 30 seconds had challenges. I changed me. In 2017, I made many choices in life and most were targeted at creating opportunities to grow. When you feel each heartbeat and wonder when or where or if the next one is coming, you can do nothing or you can make changes. You have to decide. I have no idea. In 2017, 2018, and 2019, we took steps to appreciate life and experiences while removing obstacles that were evident but not obvious. We simplified, eliminated, added, reduced, and welcomed change. And in 2020, we experience beauty in a way that we could not have foreseen. Going, going, gone. And 2020 is gone. I'll miss it. I learned and experienced so much. I met new people and learned from the people I knew. I learned that even with my present circumstances, life can still be beautiful and lived and loved. What's happening? None of us are promised tomorrow. Life is fragile and loving it comes with risk. I may not survive 2021. But I'm not going to live 2021 avoiding life so that I won't die. I plan to seize each day, to live each day, to learn and to grow. Join me. I invite you to join me in making 2021 a year worth living.